Hi all, welcome to next video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about WCF test client. So in this in the like last video, if you have seen, so we already have discussed about um, Postman. So you are knowing that Postman is one of tool that we can use for the API testing. So this is this is another tool that we can use for WCF uh, API testing. Okay, so let's move ahead what we are going to discuss today. So firstly, we will be seeing what is WCF test client and how we can use this for the WCF testing. Where, where what are the steps that we can use to install this application and how we can like you uh, run the visitor inside this application. We will run one visitor and we will see the results. Okay, so WCF, WCF, if you are aware of the .NET framework, so WCF is one of um, one of framework in which we can create the like services okay wcf services so for that particular development we can use this test client to like debug the service to like see the results to execute those services okay so how the it how it's a gui looks like so if you see here it look like a windows application we are adding a service and while like executing that service we are like getting the appropriate result so what is um, WCF test client. So WCF test client is a debugging tool for WCF service. Okay. It's a GUI tool that uh, enables users to input test parameters, submit that input to the service, and view the response that the service sent back. It provides a seamless service testing experience when combined with WCF service host. Okay. So basically, users open the GUI WCF test client means and give some input parameter based on the requirement and after after uh, executing the service user get some output from the service okay so basically we can test the wcf service using uh, this particular tool so where we can find the tool so like if you have uh, uh, been visual studio already installed in your uh, pc or in your system you can directly get it uh, inside common say seven like inside Visual Studio folder, inside community and whatever like you have enterprise community, common 7 and ID. So like how we can find, let's see that. Okay, so like if you have a Visual Studio already installed, so you can just right click here on the Visual Studio. Mm -hmm. You can open properties. Okay, so this is the path for the Visual Studio. So we don't need to go till end we can just open IDE okay and we can just uh, after putting ID you can see here micro 2019 community version and inside the IDE you can find the WCF test client so control F WCF okay WCF test client you can see here. It's taking a longer time, it's not required. WCF test client, this one application. Okay, so if you go to this properties, you can see this is the WCF test client. So just you can create a sort key at your windows home so that you can frequently use it okay so the wcf test client is now created okay so you can find it otherwise you can also like install it just by finding the installing install wcf test client on the google so you will get the exe for executing it okay so how we will be using that so let's go to the UI so that you can better understand. Okay. So this is the UI for WCF test client. So we have a add service option, recent services be used and exit. We have a tool also for doing some configuration if we have 
otherwise it's a very straightforward application we can just click on the add service and we can add the service here dot sbc and just we can load it here by clicking ok okay so it was earlier it was already loaded now the second one is loaded here okay so i have just created this particular uh, wcf service that is all already running okay so that is <coughs> already running so we can just load that service here and we can see the results so we have a two method here get package and get data using data contract okay so what is what are the steps for using this particular application so so once we like install wcf successfully so we will be getting this uh, particular ui so just clicking on add service putting that service you url here in the in the text box and just click on the ok so whatever the operations or methods they are all operation contracts declared in that service that will get loaded here like add number subtract number multiply divide okay so the same all contracts will loaded here so basically like add number so whatever the add number function required as an input so you, once you will be clicking here in add number so you, that input parameter will be asked and you need to put that parameter and after clicking on submit you will be getting uh, output what are the operations be written over the service based on that okay so to see here once we double clicking on the add number add number method or we can say operation so whatever whatever the input parameter is here that will be asked by the service so you need to put the input parameter and if you had written a logic to like uh, sum or add of these two numbers so the whatever the output result will get concluded that will come here in below, below as a response okay so we will be seeing here 20 if we have added a sum logic here same same type is here, here we are seeing an, in a gui form and after like uh, if we are clicking on the xml part here if you see here two type formatted and xml so formatted is basically a gui part and xml is basically what what the xml is getting sent while clicking on the info so that actual xml part we will be seeing so this part is xml gets generated the second thing we also have a validation in this particular uh, gui like if we like if you are aware about WCF services, so we already prepare our operation contract and data contract. So based on the data contract, whatever the input parameter type is, based on that we will be putting the parameter here. Like okay, like if we have required a number, so we cannot put here a character or other uh, uh, other special characters here. Okay, we will always require to put here a number. Otherwise, it will be giving us a um, validation pop up. Okay. So based on the data contract, it's already like validating what the input parameter type is required. So let's see, we have one method so we can see the execution process. So we can remove this. Okay, so we have already have this one. And that this one is the same one that we already have yes we already executed this so if you see in this service so we will be having a two method here okay get package data and get package data population contract let me show you service dot as we see this one okay so if you can see here you can see here we have a two operation contract okay one is get package data this one is the operation contract get data using 
data contract okay so this one is also so if you see here this one is accepting the integer value okay so let's see the this one so this one is integer type so if we putting here any other character like a b c d e f here where the validation purpose is coming is not a valid value for this type okay so we always require to put here a input parameter like 2 so once we are putting here 2 so this particular 2 will like call that particular get package detail data method and execute that and whatever the output uh, response we had created that will come here okay so click here so i already put the see so these are the data coming from uh, database so i did not put any uh, detail for uh, like value or for package id 2 so i am not getting any detail here but see all the response type is coming whatever the details we are returning from the data like channels description language name package id type id so all the details are coming here okay so same way we can use that and if we see this xml part so see here the package type is this and the value is coming here and this is the request request body okay and this is the request header so basically this xml gets sent to the uh, to the service for the execution but here in a ui we are just uh, seeing the input parameter and after invoking we are seeing the result here okay so just we can continue here and we can see the results yeah so that's it for this particular application if you having any doubt for wcf test client you can just ping me there in a, in a comment or you can just uh, ping me in a telegram channel i will help you out on that thank you so much for the watching see you on the next video